Guys, welcome to Stack of the Shelves for the weekend of October 3rd, or the books I got for the week preceding the weekend of October 3rd. Um, I know this is like my third or fourth week in a row doing a Stack of the Shelves. I have been getting a lot of books, a lot of review especially, and my to be read pile is starting to show the wear and tear from that. I think I'm at a yearly high of like 30 books in my to be read pile, so I will have to um, work on reading some books before I get more. Unfortunately, a lot of these were review books that I requested a while ago. And then like on NetGalley or Edelweiss, I requested access to them. And then it takes some time sometimes for the author to approve or they'll wait till they get closer to publication date. So um, there's a lot of review books to go through here. All right. And I did, I did recolor my hair. So it's not as bright. It's a color called like plum. So it's like a dark, dark purple. I don't know. I was just feeling like I wanted darker hair for the fall. <laughs> not sure. I've been like not as into, I don't know. I'm just feeling kind of gray lately. <laughs> so darker hair. I've been using a lot of matte top coat on my nails. So they're just duller. <laughs> Maybe it's just my mood. Maybe it's the fact that it's been cloudy for like ever here, but Anyways, let's get into the books. So the first book I got for review is um, The Camelot Betrayal by Kirsten White. And this is the second book in the um, Camelot Rising series. I'm not actually sure if it's a duology or a trilogy or what. I can't remember. But this comes out mid-November and I did get one, uh, this book for review. So I'm pretty excited about it. I liked the first book a lot. It is, as you might guess, a kind of retelling of the whole Camelot folklore. It's young adults. It's got a lot of magic, you know, very fantasy based. Um, and I think it's, yeah, it's young adult. I'm pretty sure it's young adult. <laughs> Apparently, I need to read up on this series. It's been a long time since I've read the first book, but I remember really liking it. And I like Camelot retelling, so I thought it was, a, it was just a nice fit for me. So there you go. It is like now, like I have my camera set up and in front of a window and it is alternately like pouring and blowing super hard and then just stops and then it like pours and super hard. So we were looking at the radar in the fall. We tend to get like these little spotty clusters of showers and that's what we're getting right now. So very, very fall weather here. It's like 50 with these spotty scattered showers and super windy. All right. Second book I got for review is another one I'm excited about, and that is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Meniscalco. I probably said that wrong. Um, she also writes uh, Stopping Jack the Ripper series, which I read the first couple books in that series and wasn't a huge fan of it. However, the synopsis for the series sounds really cool. Um, it's another young adult fantasy series, and it comes out really soon. It comes out October 27th. So if you are excited about this, you don't have a long time to wait. It's less than a month away till its release date. Um, so again, another one that I'm very excited to read. Um, I will apologize again. <laughs> I'm still having some printer issues for some reason. My printer will kind of randomly decide not to print blue or red, and it's really weird because it prints it sometimes and not others. <laughs> so if you do notice, this cover looks pretty much like it's supposed to be, but like it had a little bit of bluer like undertones. So if you're watching this on my blog again, just look below. I have pictures of the books like below and you can go to Goodreads and read more about them. Um, but this gives you a gist for what the cover looks like. All right. The third book I got for review was another one I was very excited about. And that is A Vow So Bold and Deadly. And this is the final book in the Curse Breakers series. And this one doesn't come out for quite a while. It releases January 12th of 2021. I did get this from NetGalley for review. And I'm really excited to see how the Curse Breakers series uh, wraps up. It's been a very fairy tale themed series. Again, young adult, a lot of politics, action and adventure, and of course, curses. So I'm um, excited to see how that wraps up and very happy to get it for review. And the last book I got for review, I'm kind of excited about all of these, but this one I'm just really excited about because I like starting new series. I also like wrapping them up, but I am especially fond of learning about new worlds and characters. And that is The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is a pseudonym for Marie Brennan, which is one of my favorite authors. She's an amazing like fantasy world builder. I love her books. Um, so this is supposed to be some 
kind of dark magical fantasy about con artists, vigilantes, and a crime lord. So it sounds really good. And again, this one does not come out for quite a while. It comes out January 19th, 2021. And I did get it through NetGalley to review. The cover is amazing. It caught my eye right away. Um, I actually saw the cover, read the synopsis, looked it up on Goodreads, and then realized that this was a pseudonym for Marie Brennan. And I was like, oh my God, I need to have it. So um, really excited to read this. And I usually try to read review books the month before they come out so that I post the review like the month before they come out. But this one I might end up reading early because I am pretty excited about it. All right. Then I did buy one book for my Kindle, and I don't know if <laughs> if people are ordering a lot of stuff on Amazon right now. You can opt to have your stuff delivered on your Amazon like delivery day, which for us is Friday. If you do that, a lot of times you get a $1 to $2 digital credit. So I had built up quite a bit of digital credit and um, went ahead and bought a book I've been wanting. <laughs> and that is a different Jennifer Armentrout series, and that is from Blood and Ash. And this is the first book in the Blood and Ash series. And this cover looks nothing like it really is when I printed it on my printer. So on uh, in actual real life, like these leaves are red, and it just decided not to print red for some reason. So I'm um, working on that. But from Blood and Ash, very excited to read this series. I've heard really good things about it. And I'm in love with the other Jennifer Armentrout books I have read. She's written a lot of series. Um, her Harbinger series is the ones I've been really, really loving, as well as her Dark Elements. I enjoy that too. So I'm trying to go back and like pick up other series she has written. And this one sounded amazing and it's been getting wonderful reviews. So excited to read that as well. And then these covers got decimated by my printer. So I will put up, I'll pop up a picture um, in the video uh, so you can see them. But the first one I got, and these are both Kindle Unlimited, so I borrowed these through Kindle Unlimited. Hold on, I'm just gonna like keep my computer away. Um, the first one is Curiouser and Curiouser by Melanie Karsak. Um, I just finished reading the first book in the Steampunk Red Riding Hood series by, by Karsak. And I liked it a lot. It was like really fast paced and fun. They're short, they're like novella length. And they're free through, free through Amazon Kindle. The only thing I had a problem with is the Steampunk Red Riding Hood series is written after the Steampunk Fairy Tales, and they're set in the same world. So I was a little bit lost at first. Like, I felt like I just got plopped down in the middle of this really complex world, and I didn't quite understand what was going on. And I felt like in the first Steampunk Red Riding Hood novel, there were a lot of characters that seemed to have backgrounds that I was not privy to. So... I'm guessing that a lot of those characters were introduced in, cause like the caterpillar is in there and I'm guessing the caterpillar is introduced in Curiouser and Curiouser, which is a Alice in Wonderland steampunk retelling. So rather than continuing to read the rest of the novella slash short books in the steampunk Red Riding Hood series, I decided to go back and start with the steampunk fairy tales so that I could meet all these characters and like, you know, know what's going on and get all the like Easter eggs and hidden references and stuff in the steampunk red writing hood tales. So if you like kind of short, fun, fast um, reads, I really like the steampunk red writing hood. It's a fairy tale retelling with steampunk stuff, lots of action. The lead character, she's actually kind of a pain in the butt. Like she's not very likable, but I still thought she was just fun and entertaining to read about. So um very excited. I think she has room for growth. Let's put it that way. Anyways, very excited to me read more of that series, but also excited to go back and start reading some of these other ones. So, and then the final one I got through Kindle Unlimited is one that I've had on my wish list for a while, and it's just supposed to be a fun, cute, contemporary romance. And every once in a while, I just want to read like a fun, cute, contemporary romance. Like it's not fantasy. It's not a complex world. It's just something that's super cute that makes you feel good and it's fun. Um, and again, my printer decided not to do red or blue on this one, which kind of doesn't help this cover. So I will be putting a picture of it probably overlapped in this decimated printed picture. Um, and this is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Uh, this book was very, very popular last year. It won a whole bunch of Reader's Choice Awards. Uh, and it is available on Kindle, Kindle Unlimited to borrow for free right now. So if you're interested in that, um, I think it's going to be kind of a cute, cutesy fun read. Uh, and I look forward to reading it because every once in a while you just need like one of those types of books to like take a break between all your complex, 
complicated like fantasy worlds. <laughs> so that is what I got. And I did decide to do go ahead and do another stack of the shelves because there were quite a few of them. Um, there were two Kindle Unlimited books, one that I bought and then four for review. So seven more books this week. And I do need to start concentrating on uh, catching up on my reading and stop perusing book reviewing sites and um, Kindle Unlimited. Like I get the Kindle Unlimited newsletter every week and I'm like, oh, that looks good. That looks good. You know, and you can borrow like 10 at a time, I think. So, you know, I always end up borrowing a whole bunch of them and um, trying to remember to read them. Anyways, uh, that's all I really have for you. We are having very fall weather in Minnesota, as I mentioned. It's been very, now it's sunny out. I don't know, it's like windy and raining and now it's sunny. It's been um, pretty variable and like normal, like all the leaves in our area were beautiful, golden, bright red. We have a lot of maples around us and it was absolutely stunning. And then like the next day, all of a sudden like half the leaves were on the ground. So fall is my favorite season and I don't know if it's because it is so brief, but it is very brief here in Minnesota. It always gets really windy in the fall and so the leaves just they look beautiful for like a day or two and then they're all gone so now we're dealing with just leaves everywhere it's just insane um other than that you know my son's been doing hockey tryouts and that's been going fine um i did find out i do not have to travel at for work now they had a COVID 19 issue at the plant i'm supposed to travel to so that is all on hold um and what else? Oh, my son goes back into his first day of live in-person learning at school um, starting tomorrow. So he's been online only for the last like two and a half weeks. And this will be his first chance to go see people in person. The way they're doing it is interesting because so now this week his teachers, like he's been online Tuesday, Wednesday, and his teachers are teaching both an in-person class and the online class. So they like leave their webcam on for the kids who are online, but they're teaching kids in person too. <laughs> and then when he's in person, he'll be the one like sitting in the classroom and then the other half of the class will be online. So um, it's an interesting way to do it. I know they're trying to do it in a way that would be least disruptive if they go back full time. So they're planning later in the year, they'll go back full time. Um, anyways, it's been an adventure for everyone and we're all, tired and sick of all this weird stuff we have to do <laughs> every day but we're trying to stay healthy we do know a couple other families who have gotten COVID-19 and the people in the family have had quite a range of sickness like you know from being super sick for a couple of weeks to barely having symptoms so it's kind of a weird thing um but people are trying to be good in quarantine as far as we know. Uh, at least in Minnesota, people are being pretty good about wearing their masks and all that. So wherever you are, continue to do that. Um, it's important as we try to get a grip on some of this. So anyways, enough of that. I hope you had a great week of reading and that you have another great week of reading ahead of you and that you got some great books. And I will probably not talk to you next week because we are supposed to go out of town for me we are planning to go up to the north shore again um further further north this time and do some hiking uh up in that area we don't spend a lot of time that far north like almost to canadian border north <laughs> but but just because it is quite a bit further up the north shore but we have a longer break this time we were originally supposed to go to disney world and celebrate my grandpa's 90th birthday but he is still on lockdown and um disney world just didn't seem like a great idea so instead we are just going to take a small family trip up to do some more camping in our fifth wheel trailer so anyways all right hope you guys all have fun and if you are celebrate celebrating mea you get to do something a little a little different at least and i will talk to you in a couple weeks have a great time bye